The next one is the beta 2 adrenergic agonist. Remember that adrenergic supply on the lungs to the beta 2 receptors, they were responsible to stimulate the beta 2 receptors. I told you that if the beta 2 receptors are stimulated, they are going to cause the bronchodilation. And what we are doing, we are going to take the beta 2 adrenergic agonist. So here we are taking the drugs beta 2 adrenergic agonist. Adrenergic supply was supposed to increase the bronchodilation by means of stimulating the beta 2 receptors. So what we are doing, we are taking the drugs that will increase the effect of the adrenergic supply. And you can see these drugs are going to act the same just like the adrenergic supply onto the beta 2 receptors. So the adrenergic supply was stimulating the beta 2 receptors to dilate the bronchioles. These drugs like albitrol, levobitrol, sermotrol, formotrol, which are actually the short and long acting drugs. Now these drugs are acting the same just like the adrenergic supply. These drugs will also target the beta 2 receptors and then they will cause further bronchodilation. That's it about the beta 2 adrenergic agonist. Now let's come towards the last one that is the sixth one, cholinergic antagonist. The drugs are the ipratropium and thiotropium. Now concentrate cholinergic antagonist. These are actually antagonizing the effect of the cholinergic supply. Cholinergic supply was responsible to stimulate the muscarinic receptors to cause the bronchospasm. Okay, bronchospasm. So we don't need bronchospasm. So we will take the drugs that will actually counter or antagonize or will act against the cholinergic supply. The cholinergic were responsible to cause the bronchospasm. Now these drugs like ipratropium and thiotropium, they're responsible to cause the bronchodilation. Why? Because these are actually antagonists. They're acting against the cholinergic supply. So like this, the cholinergic antagonist will antagonize the function of the cholinergic supply by means of which they will cause the bronchodilation. And that is what actually we need. And one very common thing that you guys might have observed that through all these drugs, we were actually dilating the bronchioles. And this is what we need to dilate the bronchioles in order to facilitate the breathing, in order to make it easy to breathe in and breathe out. And that's it all from my side regarding the topic. I hope you got and if still you have any kind of confusion, feel free to ask us in the comment box and I thank you for watching.